Ye mata chop hot. Assemble diloto. Hey, aye. If you are a TikTok user, then I think you need to be concerned. This particular episode is one that you need to be you need to pay very critical attention to it because there is a war against TikTok that I have detected. I don't know what you think, but um after this revelation, I think if you are a user or an adult user of the app or social media platform TikTok, this is the time for you to advise yourself. It is either you make backup on other social media accounts, that is if TikTok is your strong hold, else the day this particular theory would strike and it will hit them hard, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I see some of my people crying, especially those who call themselves board of directors here in Ghana. And that is my worry because on social media platforms, some people have built their livelihoods there. Even in, in recently in Kenya, they have been able to fight or negotiate with Meta, that is the owners of Facebook and Instagram and other social media platforms, to monetize their content there on Facebook and Instagram. So yes, today, today I am bringing you some news on TikTok, of which I think so many people will be interested. My name is Roland Amate. This it's Roland's report. If you're watching or listening for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this content with other people so they can enjoy. So on I stream music the social March 14th. March 14th, we learned that amid the ongoing licensing dispute between Universal Music Group, UMG, and TikTok, UMG has issued over 37,000 takedown requests on TikTok resulting in 120 million videos being muted. TikTok has already muted the audio on videos featuring UMG licensed music, but its detection mechanism is being bypassed by modified, that is paired up or otherwise changed version of UMG own tracks uploaded by users interesting times ahead. And this is what is captured on iStreamMusic.social. This is just the first news. So not long ago, I know probably you might have heard the banter between Universal Music Group and TikTok, of which they think that the money that or the royalties that TikTok was paying to them was still not enough and they wanted to negotiate more. However, TikTok did not budge to it. And out of that, UMG decided to take songs of their artists or mute songs of their artists of the platform. As if that was not enough. Now they are back again to say that there are other songs that, yes, even though they muted some of the songs, there are others that have been modified in a way. And to say, if there is a song that you like, if there is either the speed version or another modified version of which it is still the same song. Yes, the, the son of a monkey or the baby monkey is still a monkey. So no matter how you decide to modify it, twist it, or whatever you do to it, it is still their property. Therefore, they think they have every right to charge on them. And when they issue this particular statement, report says that it is going to affect over 37,000 songs. And these are not even original songs. So the original songs that they've been muted. But the modified ones are the ones that they are also going against. My second story on the war against TikTok has to do with the U.S. House, who, who has passed, or which has passed, a bill that could ban TikTok in America. So if you're a TikTok user and you live in America, this one is also for you. <laughs> Interesting times ahead. The House, captured on myjoinline.com, says the House of Representatives, by a wide margin, passed a bill that would make it illegal to distribute or host TikTok in the U.S. Effectively, blocking it from some 170 million American users unless Chinese owner ByteDance divests its interest in the popular app. It's the first time a congressional bill has passed that will outlaw an internet app. The fears among many American lawmakers who see TikTok as a national security threat that the Chinese regime could demand access to data on TikTok's U.S. users or somehow compel it to promote China's agenda. TikTok has 
repeatedly claimed the Chinese government has never made such demands and, and that TikTok would not comply with them if they were made. The bill dubbed the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act passed the House by a vote of 300 and 352 to 65 on Wednesday morning with bipartisan support amid pushbacks from representatives both sides of the aisle. So the long and short of this is that now TikTok is also being banned in America. And this is the war that I think is going on against TikTok. Now people are trying their ways and means to make sure that this particular app or social media platform that belongs to the Chinese is being crippled, if you ask me. And bits and pieces, or day by day, they are finding new ways. So I ask myself, if 170 million American users, or users in general, are blocked on TikTok, and we know how huge and powerful a country like America is, and how they can influence even other countries, including our countries in Africa, to all to, to leave TikTok. How would it be? What will happen to the social media app? Because we know, before TikTok became a sensation of which so many people started moving on TikTok, there was the Likey and other apps that, that have come up. Even currently, there are certain apps that operate similar like TikTok, yet they are not popular. They have very similar features. Yes, even though they are different social media apps, they may have very similar features. So what is going to happen to TikTok? So if you're a TikTok user or a TikTok influencer, if you have this tag, both in Ghana and in America, or even wherever you are doing the listening or watching from, then I think now is the time for you to start planning and investing in other apps. So if you are very huge on TikTok, make sure you extend to other apps because of this particular conspiracy against TikTok. Because if this bill is passed and News also states that the president, Joe Biden, is also very apt on the fact that should this bill land on his table, he's not going to blink twice. He is going to sign it. If there are bills that are giving headaches in countries, one of them will, will be the anti-LGBTQ bill plus in, in Ghana. That one, their president says he, he, he is not ready to even look at it, much less sign it, because the case is still in court. But in America... President Joe Biden says that the moment the bill lands in his presence, he is definitely going to pen his signature to make it along. So yeah, I don't know what you think, but you can also share your view in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and also share this content with other people. My name is Roland Amate and this has been Roland's Report. This is my short information to you if you are a TikTok user. I think you'll be interested or you should be interested in this particular episode. Until then, we will meet on the next episode. Don't forget to stay safe. Bye-bye. Yeah, my dad job hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey! Aye! Hey!